Hey guys, CX Boy, and in this video, I will show you guys um, AT Launcher for Minecraft. Um, if you heard of BF uh, Feed the Beast uh, FTB Feed the Beast mod pack before, um, you should know about um, launchers. So instead of FTB Launcher, it's AT Launcher. So what is AT Launcher? It's t it's basically like um, Feed the Beast, but it's just for different mod packs, and uh, because it's new, so there isn't many um, like not enough people know this launcher. However, there are quite a few uh, streamers that are using, such as Severus, um, the Build Guild uh, people streamers. So um, they they're currently playing uh, Vanilla Overhaul. So. But in this video, I'm not showing you guys um, the mod. Instead, I'm going to show you how to download and install AT Launcher. So all you have to do is to go to this new window, um, go to Google Chrome, uh, IE or Safari, um, Firefox. So just go to atlauncher.com, and you you should go to uh, download. And you can see there's like RC chat for any questions and video boards, but uh, we're just focused on downloading the launcher first. There's an installation video already, but um, there's still a few um, the few problems if you're using 32-bit Java, and I'll show you how to overcome it. So Linux, um, Mac, and Windows. So if you use Windows, then click exe. Mac, click application and Linux, click jar files. And uh, you can see a change log, all the stuff. Just click on it, and um, you should see. Let's close these. You should see this file in your um, downloads folder. Just simply go to downloads folder and drag, drag this ap application from the downloads folder to your desktop. And make a new, make a new folder. I just called it AT Launcher and put it inside because they they suggest you if you didn't put it in the folder. Um, they suggest you to put it there because that's where all the uh, server instance uh, download configs will save. So if you don't have a folder, then it will save on your desktop, which can um, we can which. Can, uh, makes your desktop uh, not organized or misorganized. I think that word is. Um, so, anyways, uh, just after you put a um, file, put your application into a file. Um, don't click on it yet. Just um, just go to Java 64 bit and just go to Oracle. And uh, link will be in the description. By, by the way, so just accept the license um, terms, and then just click on this one. Uh, Windows 64.exe, not .tar.gz, .exe. Uh, firstly, because it's faster, and because it's application, you don't have to extract it. So that's it. Um, if you're using Mac, then choose uh, 64. Uh, Linux 64, just choose 64, don't choose 86 because uh, ATL requi requires 64-bit um, Java but not 32-bit. So that's how you overcome your 32-bit uh, Java problem if you start your ATL with 32-bit instead of 64. So anyways, um, just go to, just click on AT Launcher and um, just go to select an account if you don't that's what you see and all you have to do is go to account and then add an account and type all your stuff just type uh, um, email and then password and remember password that's the important thing um, and then just click add and the, um, and then launcher should jump to your added um, your 
recent account. So, and then um, now it's time to download packs. Just go to packs, and um, you can choose from the packs library. There are a lot, but um, I chose vanilla o vanilla overhaul. So just click um, new instance. It's a create server, support a website. Those are quite self-explanatory, but um, click new instance, and then after you finish downloading it, just go to instance, and there you are. Just click play. Wait to load, and instead of um, instead of adding the mods yourself uh, from the official Minecraft launcher, uh, downloading these launchers are very um, very like useful if you're a person that plays a lot of mods. Um, also. It's just um, there's not that much error um, on the mod pack because they're all fully tested before releasing it. But if you add all the, if you add those, um, how do you say? If you add those mods yourself, you could add it wrong. So for example, they got um, Minecraft Forge, M M uh, FML. Forge mod loader and then FCP and all stuff, so it will it will really ruin your Minecraft if you add those stuff on your own. But if you download it from a launcher, the chances of you getting um, a corrupted folder or corrupted um, mod will be like very very low. So I'm just gonna test um, vanilla overhaul. This is my first time using it. Um, you should see um, too many items, of course, and then um, something really cool like a map and other stuff, which you won't see in a vanilla Minecraft. So it takes quite long to load. So mail, CX boy, config options. Preference. This is lol. Um, high sleeping time. Uh, I, I don't really care. So, as you can see, when I point to something, uh, it's a grass block, the E or stuff. There's a map, and then there's a day, day and time, and where you are. Just open um, my uh, FPS. It doesn't really um, affect your FPS that much. Just to be honest, and I'm in file file. Um, it doesn't really affect your FPS again, uh, not that much. You see, I can still get 40 FPS. I just load the sound. 40 FPS and all stuff. Um, and this is without Optifine. This is without Optifine. So, uh, it's quite impressive for the mod to uh, continue. Quicksand, ooh. Um, but then it's. Um, but then it will use your RAM up quite fast. So, uh, just be aware of that and use. Remember to use. Um, to allow your. Uh, memory if you have enough memory so I got 8 gigabytes so I just allow 3 3 gigabyte of RAM for it and all this stuff but anyways that's about it uh, AT launcher con um, version 3.1.22 uh, if you have any questions please uh, leave a comment below I'll try and answer them um, if you like this video find it helpful um, feel free to like and subscribe um, if Tell, tell the video to your friends and uh, stay exploit and have a nice day, peace.